Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed a program where you can pass the entire list of elements as a parameter to the function. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know how can you pass the list as a parameter to the function, I request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss how can you return a list as a parameter from the function. So what I will do, I will pass the one list as a parameter to the function and then I will compute even numbers and odd numbers as a separate two list. So even numbers I will store in one list, odd numbers I will store in another list. Those two lists I will return from the function to the calling function. So I hope you will enjoy this video. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. So what I will do is that I will take one list of elements. Okay, so consists of some one, two, three, four, something. Then I will pass this list to the function. Inside the function definition, I will check each element. If it is in first element, let's take it one. One is an odd number. So I will append this one to the odd list. So odd list will consist of one. Then we will have a, another list called even list. Now in the even list, let's take the next element is a two. Two is an even number. So in the even list two will consist of. So I am passing one list as a parameter to the function. Then I am verifying each element. If it is an odd number, then I will append to the odd list. If it is an even number, I will append to the even list. Then these two lists I will return from the function and then in the main function I will display them. Are you able to understand it or not? Now let me discuss in a better way or let me write the entire program for you. So what I will do is that first I will define the function. Okay, def. Then let me de write the function name as display or find whatever it is it will take the one parameter lst which is a list okay then what i will do i will take two lists one is even list let me write it properly even list i will make it a one empty list right now because there are no elements in this one similarly i will define odd list and there are no elements these are the two empty lists right now then I will write a for loop for i in lst okay now i will verify if i modulus 2 is equal to 0 meaning is that that is an even number so what i will do in that case is that even list dot see obviously okay otherwise you will get a confused indentation will start even list dot append that i are you able to understand it or not so you are appending this i value into the even list because it is an even number else if it is an odd number if i is an odd number then what i will do i will append this i to the odd list so odd list dot append i once all the elements are appended to either to the even list or odd list, then I will return both the lists. Okay, return even list, comma, odd list. Are you able to understand it or not? Now I am writing the main thing. So now what I will do is that I will take a list of elements LST consists of some elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 56, 51, 56, 75 like that. There are some elements are there. Okay. Then what I will do, I will call the display function. Okay. Now even list comma odd list is equal to display. I am calling the function and I am passing this list as a parameter to the one okay then i want to print the even list so i can simply write print even list and then print odd list 
so it will display both the list of elements which are there in the even list and odd list so this is the program now let me discuss for you so first you are defining a list called lst consists of elements like this so you are calling the display function by passing the lst which is a list as a parameter then the control will come here now you have created two lists called even list and odd list okay even list and odd list right now they are empty lists okay is it clear then for i in lst so i is a local variable here lst so it will first access the first element called I, one now one modulus two one modulus two will be one one is not equal to zero so this condition will be false it will come to the else block odd list dot append i so in odd list you will have the value one or you are appending the value one then two two modulus two is equal to zero so this condition is true so two will be appended to the even list then three three will be appended to the odd list because three is an odd number then four four is an even number it will append to the even list then five will be appended to the odd list 51 will be append to the odd list 56 will be append to the even list then 75 is also an odd number so you will have a list of elements in even number of elements in the even list odd number of elements in the odd list that what i am doing i am passing as a parameters or a values okay because each one is an object are you able to understand python everything is an object so list is also object you are passing them then the control will come here so even list will consist of these elements odd list will consist of these elements you are displaying them so you will get an output as even list 2 4 56 odd list will be 1 3 5 51 75 so for better understanding i will discuss this concept in jupyter notebook let me define a function called display so i will use the keyword called def and then i will write the name of the function as display and it will take one parameter which is a list so i am writing the name of the parameter as lst now what i will do is that i will take two lists which is even list and odd list but however i will not assign any elements to both the lists so i have two empty list called even list and odd list then what i will do is that i will write a for loop for i in lst okay then i will check whether i is an even number or odd number so how can we verify whether it is an even number or odd number if you divide by 2 if you get a reminder as 0 then you can say that it is an even number so if the i is an even number i want to append to the even list if it is an odd number i want to append to the odd list so how can i append even list dot append then the i you can pass it okay else if it is an even number i want to append that value which is there in the i to the odd list okay now what i want to do once i find all the elements which are in the even to be even list odd numbers in the odd list i want to return both the lists which is even list and odd list so even list comma odd list then what i am writing is that lst is equal to i will pass the values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay then what i am doing is that even list comma odd list is equal to i will call the function called display with parameter as lst which lst is a one list now i want to print the even list so i will write even list and then i want to print the elements which are there in the odd list now let me run the program for you if i execute this program all the odd numbers will come in one list and all the even numbers will come in one list so with this program you will understand how to pass the entire list as a one parameter to the function and also how to return the lists using the return statement from a function i hope it is clear for you if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts 
as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.